Hello gamers and welcome to the beginning of week 8 in our 100 reviews in 100 days. We had an awesome 7th week so I'm going to give you a quick recap before we move into this week. Boomerang his way into the number 70 spot was Link in the Twilight Princess with a strong 4.5 out of 5. Questing for the number 69 spot was Dragon Age Origins destroying the blight with a 3.5 out of 5. Making a ruckus in the number 68 position is the arcade classic Donkey Kong with a 3.5 out of 5. Creating a spot for itself in the number 67 spot was Counter Strike with a great 4 out of 5. Summoning the number 66 position was the epic Kingdom Hearts, banishing the Heartless with a 5 out of 5. And now we move on to week 8 with a classic title. Final Fantasy 6, or 3 if you prefer, grabbing the number 65 position. Quick question for you. Why the hell do Japanese titles have to be so confusing and nonsensical in this genre? Anyway, Final Fantasy 6 was released in the US under the guise of Final Fantasy 3. Who knows? Maybe it's us. Now that the confusing part is out of the way, we can move on to the plot of this game. Oh wait, that doesn't make any sense either. Gameplay. While I'm not a huge fan of the turn-based fighting style, if you're going to play a turn-based game, it should probably be this one. For its time, Final Fantasy VI was at the top of its game graphically. The story was interesting if you were able to figure it out. The thing about this game is that it was an absolute disaster as far as controls, story, menus, battle systems, etc, etc were concerned. But somehow, it worked pretty damn well. And so, we'll leave this beautiful mess with a strong 4 out of 5. Make sure you check back tomorrow to see what game made the 64 spot. Until then, have a great day.